Welcome to Analyzing Finance with Nick. In this episode, I got a question from a viewer who asks, why is insider trading illegal? I mean, it's not as straightforward as you would think, uh, because in theory, like the libertarian argument is for to have insider trading legal would be, hey, there's that information is out there anyway. If people act on it, the market will be more efficient and price whatever that inside information is in a more real time way. And the other argument is that it is a victimless crime. I think both of those are incorrect. Uh, I think the main reason why insider trading is illegal and should remain so is because it violates the integrity of the capital markets. And what I mean by that is our entire financial system, especially the equity markets, revolves around trust. And you need, in order to have trust in the financial system, you need to know that all the participants are playing by the same rules and nobody has a big enough of an unfair advantage to rig the market like or have, or rig a, the, the market in a specific stock. If the market was nothing more than a casino or is perceived to be that way, it would have several deleterious consequences to the economy and America's role as the leading uh, provider of financial services across the globe, especially in the age of the internet, because if insider trading was legal and most people knew about it, and if it was, this stuff would get out there eventually, uh, then there would be no reason a rational investor who is not an insider would ever buy a stock or put on any sort of trade. Uh, the reason being is that you don't know if there's some got insider who's going to dump ahead of the news and you get stuck holding the bag well after the fact. Uh, that is the real risk and whether it's the stock going down or vice versa. Uh, people betting on acquisitions for companies for example or they know about a good news whether it's um, better earnings than expected or a policy change or something that the rest of us don't and are able to capitalize off of this, a lot of investors would feel cheated and rightfully so. Uh, if you have no integrity in the capital markets and no trust, the participation rate in the capital markets will be much lower and therefore you would have a lot more volatility in the market, you'd have a lot more less liquidity in the market you would have, since there are insiders playing and people in the casinos, like the only people who would be left would be risk-seeking gambler types that really un who understand that it's probably rigged against them, but play anyway. And because of that, it would change the dynamics of how people trade. Like the example would be the marks, the, the equity markets before insider trading laws were passed in the early 1930s where you had, it was not very um, widespread participation. It was really only shareholders of companies before they went public, the wealthy and pe people who liked to gamble. Like there was the term bucket shop comes from these places outside the casino where people would just bet on the price of securities without really knowing anything because they know that somebody always has an insider information and knows more than them that there really is no reason to do any sort of fundamental analysis because you're always one step behind and even at the peak of the 19 to 20 stock boom you only had 10 percent of the population participating in the stock market whereas today it's over half of the u.s population why is because the securities laws such as the, of those banning insider trading has made the market at least perceived to be more trustworthy and investing to be um, a fair game than it was prior to the Great Depression. Valuations would also be much lower in that environment too because less people are willing to participate. 
again, if you're a rational investor and you know that the game is rigged against you and people are trading on inside information on all the stocks that you don't have that inside information, how can you reasonably expect to get good returns? Uh, if ever, or, and if you're a professional investor, you basically have to rely on insider information to beat the, that your benchmarks, which creates a whole other series of conflict of interest and ethics problems. So, and then if you're a company who's trying to raise capital, it'll be much harder to, because how do they know that you are going to be an honest, ethical person who's not just going to pump and dump your own stock or do insider trading, because if, especially if it's perfectly legal, you don't have the, the legal deterrence against you to do that. And so therefore it'd be a lot harder for companies to raise money in the capital markets in the first place in an era that insider trading is legal. So that's the reason. It's really just the markets rely on trust and if there was insider trading it was legal, no rational investor would trust the capital markets and thus would not participate. And that has a bunch of negative effects, as I mentioned. So that's kind of why insider trading is illegal and why it needs to stay so. Thanks for watching. If you like the content of this channel and if you have a question for me, feel free to get back to me at askafundmanager at gmail.com or comment on these videos. Please like and subscribe as well. Uh, we have a growing audience and we appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching and good luck out there in the market.